In recent weeks, we've reported cases of animal cruelty across two counties, apparent poisonings targeting feral cat colonies in Palatka, and in Duval, five cats were killed in the San Jose area. Now police are investigating after several cats in Argyle Forest were found shot and killed. Don White is on your side with a closer look at the investigation. The rescue says a pregnant cat named Feathers was found shot and paralyzed down there on that pavement. A second cat was found shot and killed over there in that grassy area. A third cat was found by a resident dead in his backyard down there. And then a fourth cat was found shot and killed behind that building. A little bit of yeah. kitty cat food here. This is one of the cats. Fits in a can, about $30 a month for one cat. Ralph S. Howie Jr. feeds. Hey, baby. About 30 community cats live in this area between a shopping center and residential neighborhood. It was very disturbing when we started having problems with them being killed, shot with a pellet gun. John McFall. These animals don't ask for this. Is president of Veterans and Patriots Animal Coalition, the nonprofit organization caring for abandoned or neglected animals. It's really heartbreaking and it, it, it makes you angry at all at the same time. McFall says in addition to the four cats shot and killed, two others have disappeared. All five of pregnant cat feathers kittens died, and he says this is happening. Some of the kittens on the property here have had their eyes blown out by uh, water cannons being put along the property uh, by some of the residents. The rescue's goal is to trap the cats, spay or neuter them, and have them live out their lives at this sanctuary in northeast Florida. Oh. All while their long-term caretaker hopes and prays the killing stops. Well, it breaks your heart. I mean, I pet them every day. I take care of them. I take them to the doctor when they're sick. I've been in this area doing this for 15 years. The homeowner is urging people not to feed cats in this area. By putting up this county ordinance right here, we do have a link to the rescue's Facebook page and their GoFundMe page on our website, firstcoastnews.com. In Argyle Forest, Don White, First Coast News, on your side situation there. Thank you, Don. And if you can help police with these cases or any case, call Crime Stoppers at 866-845-TIPS. Remember, you don't have to give your name and you could be eligible for a cash reward.